Hi, I'm Taylor. I'm Madison. And I'm Logan. And, and we're, we're the, the Kings, Kings Trio. Trio. Perfect. <laughs> The first single, which is the reason we first talked, was a song called Be Yourself With Me. Um, you guys talked a lot about, and we have since talked a lot about, that need to be who you are in the music industry and stay true to yourselves. Mm -hmm. How do you try to achieve that day to day? Well, Great. you may take yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, we'll Don't need to uh, assign questions. No, we can, no, we can no, all take no, it. Just yeah, I feel right like... That's become, I didn't really understand in the beginning of this music career what all that would mean to really stand up for your artistry. Um, when you first get started, you're looking for so much approval. And so you're like looking for everyone to say like, this is good, this is how you should sing, this is what you should wear. And then you, I feel like we would take every piece of advice with like no grain of salt. It was just like, oh, they said this, so we'll try this. And, and so as we started to learn and grow, we've learned, you know, being yourself may mean saying no to something that's not you. And, <laughs> you know, it may... Which is hard. I know. We've kind of gone through a little bit. I mean, it's been kind of hard. People used to be like, now the music business is really tough. And we were like, no, it's not. Like, we're it's having a blast. But now I think we're, you know, you're just going to come through some phases sure. where... Right. Well, that, <coughs> that, I, I guess to, to jump off of what she said, that being yourself, the pivotal, like the crux of that is the concept of self, which I guess was what we didn't necessarily have to know what to say no to or yes to and so the armor or steel is refined when it's hammered into a single direction from every side and so we were having fun because with each push we were just going with it and so now as we're trying to stand our ground you take shots from every side but it's making us into ourselves so so yeah. we now feel like be yourself with me we love that song and now it has an even deeper meaning to us and we're actually i feel like now <laughs> we are right. we are ourselves like that yeah. we are finding out who we are i mean i went to the salon the other day and i put pink in my hair without asking anyone just i don't know what <gasps> no. <laughs> it's not a big deal but it was just you get to the point where it's like okay what do i even like anymore you yeah. know you you take so many opinions and mm -hmm. you're like what do i like to listen to what what makes me happy and what you know don't forget don't think about the strategy sure or what's going to fit into a genre like yeah. what is authentic to me so was there ever a feeling amongst you guys that it sure you had your opinions and you are who you are but you felt like we don't have a right to assert that yet until we're a little bigger in the industry like did it feel like you have to have a certain level of clout before you can actually say well no no <laughs> that's sure. what we want absolutely absolutely <laughs> and it's not even that we even i feel like we didn't even feel that way in the beginning but we were told that over and over again like you just don't know and so we're like oh, okay right you're right you know because you um Okay, and that's the, the music. And, right. we're, and we're back. And, that, <laughs> you know, and we had a lot. We have a lot to learn, but I think that we got. We didn't know a lot of technical things, but we always knew our musical taste. <clears throat> and I feel like that's something to always remember. Sure. You need to be humble, and you need to like keep in mind everyone's advice, but you don't need to lose your taste. Right. Exactly. And I think as well, um, I allowed someone else's qualifications to disqualify me. It was like, oh, well, they've written a hit song so they must know and I must not know but now we're sort of it, it's a it's becoming a confidence thing where we're like okay we, like we can do this it, it takes a sense of I may not know everything but I know what I like and I know what I want to be represented as you know yeah. there's a fine line too with <clears throat> we want to come off first of all that we have like great people of great character, great character and yeah. integrity and respect for everyone else who has laid the foundation for what we're doing so it's not it's not about like being upset at anyone it's really just been an internal thing of figuring mm -hmm. out you know mm -hmm. okay who are we like right. individually right. and collectively so i do feel in a like a happy and positive way like yes we are figuring we're it on out. the right yeah, track feeling yeah it. and it it is a hard line or a hard thing to figure out because like you said those people who come at you with 20 years experience and all these hit songs Obviously, they do know something, right? Yes. because otherwise they wouldn't have yes. this. But exactly. it doesn't necessarily mean that they're the right person in the career or that they're right about this one thing. Sure. Mm -hmm. Right. Has it been 
because I hear you say that it kind of gets easier and easier as you figure out more and more who you mm-hmm. are. Mm-hmm. Right. How does that manifest? And what are those moments when you realize, oh, I've learned something? Man, we <laughs> we just finished, not finished, but I think we're three quarters of the way done yeah. with our new EP. And it was mostly songs that we had either started or we had inspiration for and we had part in the production. And so we were able to have full control of how they sound. And in that moment when they we first heard our new songs being played back and we were just like, this is right. I just this. stood there like... I'm not really an emotional person. Like, I don't cry very often, but I just held my face and just tears. And I was like, we're back. We're back. Like, this this is a great a great feeling yeah. that songs that you had had the heart to start, you got to see them be completed. Mm-hmm. And you're like, if this changes me like this, then that's what music is all yeah. about. <clears throat> and over and over again, we've been getting confirmation of people that have heard the new stuff that just said this makes sense you're going in the right direction you know and so it doesn't but the cool thing is is we already felt that before we even got the affirmation Mm -hmm. you know what i mean like we were already happy with it but then to see other people say like this is this is right you know it was like okay we know something we don't know everything we know something yeah and it's it's good that you're figuring it out early i spoke to an act yesterday who had been you know they signed to a record deal so it it's, it's a slightly different world they have to live in. And, but they made, just, they made a record last year that was for the first time ever truly 100% what they wanted to do. Mm-hmm. And, you know, barely any auto-tune near it. Good and for very them, authentic yeah. and very real. And it's the one they get the most reaction to. The best mm-hmm. reviews, Sorry, the most response from fans. And they just felt like, why didn't we do this earlier? So <laughs> it's it's great that you are early That's on cool. figuring this out and, and standing your ground That's on cool. That's What We Want. Ooh. While still realizing that it is a give and take. You yeah. will still have to do things you don't really want to do. Yeah, yeah. And it, it built your story. Like, um, the songs that we, we've written in the past, like, to how we got our start now, like we are here now because of that so it's all a part of your story you know like every right. step of the way we're trying to just enjoy each day because sometimes we kind of get caught up in it mm-hmm. what if we do get signed by a record label well then what's next we're always looking for you know that big thing well then i'll be happy mm-hmm. it's same thing with marriage or you know mm-hmm. a job or so we're trying to say all right let's enjoy today sure. like we're meeting with you and this has been a really fun day yesterday yes. was a really fun day and, yeah, no. you know just kind of like yeah. That's a part of the story and not so much just like the end result. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Good that you bring that up because that is, as you know, the subject of an entire documentary <laughs> I'm working on. The, the idea of if only I have, and I think it's a very human thing to do, if only I have this, I'll be happy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I've seen friends, because you bring up marriage, I've seen friends do this. You know, a friend of mine was like, oh, I just want to be married and then I'll be blissfully happy forever. Mm-hmm. Well, no, you won't. <laughs> it's, just, it's hard and yes. Yes. there will be good and bad times. And you'll see people here, if I, I can have a number one hit and and I'll be happy mm, forever. Yeah. And it's never one thing. Right. So where do you place <coughs> the source of happiness in your lives, Man. in your work lives? Okay. So I, you're getting married nice. this year, so you're like, yeah. that's your personal, <laughs> that's your personal right. happiness. Yeah. Yeah. But in your work lives, where do you look for happiness? Gosh. I think we used to say a lot like, it's the people, it's getting to meet new people and hear their stories. And I think that it still is there, but it's carried now so much further because we have peace with where we are as artists. Mm-hmm. And so it's so much, rather than feeling like, well, I've got to be polished and, and make you feel enjoy. It's just like, we feel settled as people. And so the joy and the happiness that we find in the industry is getting to go show up. And now, instead of, do you like what we're doing? It's like, this is, this is us and we're real and now we want to hear your story and I feel like that just opens them up so much more so I mean to be honest like the beginning of this year I was finding myself like I don't I don't even know if it's like a panic attack or what but I was just feeling myself being like wake up and I'm anxious like I didn't even have time to like hear anything bad news but it was just sort of this feeling of like we're stepping out you know we're doing things Mm. that people aren't happy with where you know like it was just like this crazy time and I was always looking for like okay how are we going to make it like how we know what is our strategy if we don't make this happen no one will and then I feel like just this past week I've had to just be like I can't live this way you know that I that's not a livable everyday struggle Mm. I mean it's like you never feel like you've tackled it fully but I do feel like we the three of us believe in the Bible and it says that you know give a reason for the hope that you have and I think we're all looking for hope I think when you have hope of something better 
to come or that things will get easier, that is what brings you peace in yeah. crazy times. Sure. And so that we all three cling mm-hmm. to that for sure. And that, I mean, what else would we I be know. doing if we didn't have I hope? Know. <laughs> and in you know, my like Lord. most anxious times, like I have to like take a step back and just like look and be like, okay, remember when you get to go to the beach with your family in the summer and just like human things that Thank aren't you. so yeah. music career, like separate yourself and be like, what you know think right. about my whole life as a person and not just because yeah. if i get too zoned in then i'll i'll yeah. lose perspective the you brought up hope and i want to dig into that a little bit because okay. something i recently learned and it, it sort of changed my perspective on hope is that being hopeful means being courageous nice. and i never thought of it that um, way yeah that's cool and i wonder how how you see that and how you would want to explore that where if you're still there to be hopeful, you still dare to, to take risks, mm. you still dare to take the risk mm. of losing it or the risk right. of never having it, right. but you're still risking things. You're still brave and right. wanting to achieve. How do you yeah. how do you view that? I mean, I guess like from the beginning, I've always, and maybe I have a crazy view of, of God in life, mm-hmm. but I feel like that up to this point that if it was based on anything that I could do as a person, I have flopped so many times and made so many mistakes. And what gives me the hope that I have is that I am still where I am. And even when you look at all the the weird mistakes and decisions that I made, like we are still here now. So I know that there's a bigger plan that involves everybody. Mm -hmm. And like, I just look at it as like, I have hope we are here today, we get to meet with you today, mm. and yeah. like everybody is interconnected, and so if we're not where we are, that may change someone else's life in a negative way, you know, so like yeah. have have courage yeah. to just keep going mm. and like end up where you end up. Yeah. And, yeah. and, and it's like you said, um, hope is being courageous, and I, I feel like hope in something that you can see isn't hope just like faith in something you can already see isn't faith and so mm-hmm. you you drive yourself and you be courageous because you don't if you hope to be where somebody else already is when you get there there's gonna be something else but if you hope for something you can't see then you may go where somebody's never been yeah. so yeah. well to end it on a very light like more light-hearted <laughs> right. note of a this front. has been great though yeah. Yeah. Back, this has been like a therapy great session. way to start yeah. Um, what songs would you put on the soundtrack to your lives? Ooh, like oh, not snap. ours. That's yeah, so somebody, great. Yeah, somebody yeah, it is hard music? because when no. song when you're songwriters, you write your own soundtrack. I know. Okay. This is but other, um, other okay. songs that you feel represent. I feel like um, there's this one song called from Family of the Year, and yes. it's called Hero. And it's let me go. I don't want to be your hero. I just want to walk like everyone else. Oh, and it's good. just you know sometimes you like in those down moments you're just like, hey, I am just a person. And I, yeah. I like that's one of my yeah, soundtrack songs. Uh, uh, mine is the heart. But it's off Need to Breathe's newest album, um, and it says long live the heart and long live the soul that knows what it wants. And that's like oh, what a oh it's so good. <laughs> yeah. So that's me. I think mine would be like you know, uh, Credence. Clearwater Revival, like in Remember the Titans, just like whoa, let's go. Right. Like just, I don't remember yeah. what song it is. Maybe unfor- I can. the sun. What's that called? Unfortunate oh, sun. Unfortunate, unfortunate sun. sun. Maybe we'll just go with that. Let's just that's, say that's that. Well, that's you're wrong. Credits. Yeah. You should like play some of those songs <laughs> and just sort of like. Right. <laughs> I've always wanted to be a football player. Maybe that's why I feel that way. I don't <laughs> I know. know. I just want to bring people together. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, you. Thank you for your time. Yeah.